So I'm going to be presenting on the coracoid process of the scapula. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate um, where it is in space on the model first, and then I'll be using as here um, and showing how to palpate what muscles attach to it. Um, can you see this? Yes. All right, cool. So coracoid process is here. Um, it's a small finger-like projection that sits on the anterior scapula. Um, it's just sort of anterior and a bit medial where it originates. Um, just anterior medial to the glenoid fossa, which is where the head of the humerus articulates and forms the glenohumeral joint. So this will come from the posterior surface and it will come through medial to that shoulder joint and poke out like a little finger. So when we look for it, we rotate a little bit this way, we find it by finding the head of the humerus and we can roll medially. We typically find it just up in that uh, deltopectoral triangle formed laterally by the anterior fibers of deltoid and then we've got pec major medially and then we've got the clavicle anteriorly I'm oh, sorry superiorly um, we'll find it just in there close to the humerus and generally just under those anterior fibers of deltoid now as a muscular attachment we've got two main muscles that will attach to it we've got the coracobrachialis which will come from generally the very point of the coracoid process and it will run down to about one-third to midway, generally one-third down the humerus. That's in charge of things like adduction of the humerus and internal rotation. Uh, pec minor will come from the medial border of the coracoid process, so just in there, not so much on the point itself, and that will attach to ribs three to five, covering on those costal cartilages. I'm sorry, not carceral cartilages, but uh, on the anterior surfaces of those ribs. And that will do protraction of the shoulder, but also depression. So pull the shoulder forward and down. And relax. We typically see, when it becomes dysfunctional, that real forward, rounded shoulder posture we see in office workers. So, back. So cortical brachialis, pec minor. Pec minor sits deep to pectoralis major, which lies over the top and will cross the bicep with a groove and cover the coracoid process itself. i have mentioned before that deltoid's anterior fibers will lie over the top of the coracoid process as well. Um, and then if we look here, we'll see the clavicle sits superior to that. That articulates with the acromion process, which will sit anterior, sorry, superior and lateral to the coracoid process which is also part of the scapula. So chromium and coracoid, both scapular uh, bony landmarks. And see. Although not stated in the video, there is another muscle that attaches to the coracoid process of the scapula. This is biceps brachii. The short head of biceps brachii will attach onto the coracoid process. The long head of biceps uh, originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and both those heads come down to a common tendon distal to the elbow, which will insert into the radial tuberosity. Biceps brachii will do shoulder flexion, elbow flexion, and supination of the forearm. Keep it play or some tooth to play it safe. Boy, check the resume, it's risky business in the AA. And I've been witness to this history ever since the 10th grade. We went from rock and brace to 10th phase. I twist my A head to the side just for style. Ortho on the Gucci bucket with the fly, super fly. Wow, the Southern private on the